It was all about the lobster for these Korean chefs who are starting a weeks-long visit to Maine to learn everything about Maine lobster. Marianne LaCroix is the acting executive director for the Maine Lobster Promotion Council. We've got chefs from four high-end hotels there that are opinion leaders in the country, so we can hope to increase exports to their properties as well as to other properties in South Korea. They're having a lot of growth there, and they're very interested in Maine lobster. The week started with a walking tour of the waterfront in Portland. First stop, down at the docks. A chance to learn about the bait for lobsters, pogies in this case. Welcome to Portland. Emily Lane is the vice president of sales for Calendar Island Maine Lobster, and she was instrumental in helping with this important visit, where the groundwork was laid years ago. Well, this all got started uh, thanks to the efforts of Food Export USA Northeast. Uh, Mr. Nam and I met uh, two, two and a half years ago at a buyer's mission in Boston, and we have developed a great business relationship over the last uh, two and a half years. Emily's boss, John Jordan, joined the group. Korea, South Korea is a really interesting market for Maine, and we've had some success uh, exporting lobster there, so we thought it was important to bring uh, folks from South Korea here to Maine to see the magic of Maine and uh, Maine lobster and get the first-hand experience. Get a piece of the magic of Maine, because we really think there's a, a potential for a good relationship going back and forth between Korea and Maine. Then it was time to see a pot after it comes out of the water. We're going to get you guys geared up in some of these aprons here and some gloves. One more. Then it was time for Mr. Nam and the chefs to get ready to work. Let's put five of those fish into each one of these bags. I'll hold the bag open. Thank you very much, guys. So we like to let the trap stay down for three days before we pull the oh, same trap yeah. up again. So this is the buoy. This is a license number, oh. lobster license number. Oh. And we don't know. They could be empty. They could be full. We don't oh, know until yeah. we get them to the boat. This point touches yeah. his back. Yeah, he's right. big enough. Yeah, if it touches right. his tail, he's too short. So oh. we need to watch closely. Oh. Too short. Yeah, a little too short. This is soft shell. Oh. Hard shell. This one needs to grow. Will yeah. grow soon. Oh. That one's already grown. Will grow right. next, next year. It takes them seven years on average to get to be big enough to be kept. So for six years of their life, they're walking in and out of traps, getting a free meal. No idea it's a trap. <laughs> Two, three, push. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are banding pliers. Yes. The rubber band goes on the tip. You're going to squeeze it open as big as you can get it. I'll take the lobster's paw and put it right inside. So we use this to make lobster rolls. Yeah. Remember, like the lobster roll you ate at Reds at Delhi? So, this we did not ship live to Korea. Don't do that. But we use the meat because the meat is very good. I'm sure they've looked at it, you know, in their kitchens many a times, but uh, just not understanding the process that goes into it. So, you could tell they enjoyed it. Good, good crew. Everybody's hired. <laughs> yeah. With the day on a lobster boat done, now time to visit Ready Seafood to see the next stop for the caught lobster. How was the boat? Good? Good. Yeah? Not many lobsters though. Still too early. Brendan Reddy leading the tour of his operation. Yeah. They get cold and then you can pack them because they use very little energy wow. and very little stress and that's how you can ship them across the world with no mortality. If you take a lobster caught in the ocean in the warm water, put it in a box, they will all die when it arrives to Korea. This tank that you see, it's like a giant Excel spreadsheet. Yes, it is. All giant. lines here. Mm. So what we do is we grade, you see all the colors, all the ribbons? Oh, I see, yeah. The colors designate shell quality, yes. size, and location where they wow. came from. A lot of people came together to bring these chefs here today, so we're really happy that the industry came together and uh, really worked together to show the chefs all about Maine Lobster. Full of meat, very good quality, very lively. So this is my favorite. Yeah, you're gonna eat it here. It's to expose and also to educate. Uh, the whole purpose is to teach people from different countries uh, about the merits of Maine lobster, about the versatility of Maine lobster, and how it can be prepared in so many different ways. In uh, this first day, we have a good education of Maine lobster, how you are catching and then product and then export like this. Most of Korean lobster market was occupied by Canadian lobster, but now, you know, they know how you make a good quality of uh, Maine lobster export to Korea. So 
they say it's used to main, main after more quantity in the future. It really takes the whole industry to bring this together. We can all work together to, to expand the lobster market, uh, the main lobster market internationally. It's a wild caught fishery that's been increasing in catch, so it's a very stable fishery. Yeah. It's a good fishery to invest in in terms of marketing and selling. That's how we feel. Very so, stable. Very, very good trip and then good education in, in this day. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In just day one of the trip, it was already a success. All right, thank you. That was great. <laughs>